Hey y'all, what is up? It's Kristen, and today I have a video for you on dealing with while loops, if else, conditionals, and Boolean operations. So today we're going to work with a uh, prompt, some kind of a paragraph prompt, that's going to basically tell us what we have to do. So the first thing when you get some kind of a problem like this, either on your homework or on a practicum, what you want to do is you want to basically read this prompt for the most key pieces of information. So when looking at this prompt, the first thing that I can tell is that we're dealing with at least two variables here that we'll have to identify in this set of information that they're giving us in the, in the real life scenario prompt. So here we're dealing with gallons of gas in a truck, so that's obviously going to be at least one variable we're going to have to deal with. And we can also see that we're dealing with some kind of a miles per hour as well. So these look like uh, integers. They're not going to be floating point numbers. So we've got at least two integers that we can define as possible inputs for a function. And we also know that we have a specific uh, line here that tells us what we want to do. We want to create an if-else statement inside of a loop to simulate this scenario. Um, and we also know that we are burning gas over time in some way. So that means that we're going to have some kind of a terminating condition for our loop. It's not going to run forever. And we also know that if the truck runs out of gas at any time, we should print a message to the user basically telling them that they are out of gas. So let's jump into building this in Cloud9. First thing you want to do with any program is just kind of set up a simple uh, set of includes and we're going to go ahead and define a main and this is really good uh, practice to be able to just go through and set up your code to get ready. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is since uh, I want to create the function itself that's going to be used for this and since the function itself did not specify a return type, I'm going to make this a void function. And I'm going to call it keep trucking. I'm setting up my scope operations ahead of time. And I know that this is going to take in probably um, two integer inputs. So before I go any further, I'm going to go down to main and I'm going to go ahead and define some gas variable. I'm going to set it equal to some test case values. Um, set this to 35. And I need to call my function through function call. And I'm going to pass gas and mph here. Um, so now that I have everything set up for this to basically run without any syntax errors. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to start building um, some kind of an if-else check inside of the program. Um, so the first thing I know is that I can never hold more than 10 gallons of gas in the truck. So I'm going to say if gas is less than or equal to 10, I'm going to do something inside of here. Otherwise, I need to print a message basically handling an edge case scenario where someone tries to enter too much gas into the truck. And I'm just going to say your truck can't hold that much gas. It's not possible in this scenario. So this is what I would call an edge case. We're dealing with inputs that we don't want. We don't want gas to ever be over 10 in this particular function. Um, so when gas is less than or equal to 10, I need to think about some other stuff. First thing I want to think about is what happens if gas reaches zero. This would be a like a let's call this a termination, or a terminating condition because this would stop the truck from moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and just print something here to the user. You are out of gas if this happens. And then I'm going to also think about, like, how do I get there? How do I get to the base case for the terminating condition? Uh, well, um, if gas is 
less than or equal to 10. And miles per hour is greater than or equal to 30. Based on the prompt, we're going to be burning gas. So I'm going to take the gas variable and I'm going to decrement it. I'm also going to give a printout statement. It says like, okay, we haven't gotten there yet. So while we're burning gas, keep trucking. And I'm also going to tell the user how much gas they have as they drive down the highway. And what we're going to do here is we're going to print the variable through uh, a display output C out series of commands to the console. And now that we have this set up, I'm going to close this scope here. So now we just have an if else here that I think I should put inside of a loop. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it inside of a loop. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my loop here and then throw this in. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that if I have some scope issues, I'm going to bring those in with my tab or shift tab command. And let's see here, I'm also going to have to pull this in as well. So now my scope looks good. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So I have to set up a while condition in some way. And I could do this multiple ways. I could say like, okay, well, while the gas uh, is not zero, right? That's one way that I could do this. But uh, I want to try using Booleans here for this while loop. So I'm going to set what's called a flag. It's an on off switch, basically. And I'm going to set it to true at the beginning. And I'm going to set up the while loop condition while this holds to be true. So while the flag is still set to true, we're going to keep looping. And because we know that this if statement is our terminating condition, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to, if the, the gas reaches zero, then I'm going to set the flag to a false position. And I'm also going to handle the edge case where uh, if someone inputs something in larger than what we expect, I'm just going to automatically terminate the program. All right, so now that we've done this, we have defined and set up an entire if-else condition. So notice that here, if the flag is true, we're going to continuously keep looping through this program. And as long as the gas has not reached zero, or we don't put in something that is larger than 10 gallons of gas, we're going to decrement the gas one loop every time through the while loop. And this is uh, what's going to reach this base case. So in here, while we're meeting these conditions, we're going to decrease our variable until it reaches our terminating condition of zero gas. We're then going to come into this subscope of the if statement, set the flag to false, and the next time after all of this goes down and comes back up to the top of the while loop, we're going to realize that the logical uh, Boolean argument here is false, and we're going to go straight back to the line in main where our function was called. This is a brief overview of how to set up if-else conditions inside of a loop, and I hope that it has been useful in helping you guys break down some fundamentals to CSCI 1300. Thanks. See you guys next time.